Hey, my name is Garrett, and I'm working on Strung by 3, a martial arts combat game. This week, thanks to the help of Daniel Lochner, I added this button inspector aspect that allowed me to actually have a button for the randomized functionality of the buildings. Also, thanks to Games and House, I got a 2D texture working on a quad for the player noise, which is actually just two circles that are masked in Shadograph. I also flipped to Avatar on TV the other night, and I kind of got really inspired to make some island models. With the designs I came up with, they're sort of blocky and geometric, at least the bottoms of them are, and on top I plan on adding different kinds of terrain. I was having a bit of trouble getting everything to be procedural, I was using the array modifiers to duplicate the cues, but I was still having trouble with the noise and distortion. And after realizing the importance of state machines in my enemies and likely the player from last week, I spent a lot of time this week learning some new data structures and learning how to properly structure my code. I learned a lot about finite state machines as well as namespaces for organization, mostly thanks to invaluable code on YouTube. I started to implement the state machines a little bit and I also added my own custom Tons of Han namespace and I'm hoping that this will help me out in the long run just for organization and just better code in the future. And what I learned is as much as it might be kind of a chore right now, having this good structured code is probably going to benefit me in the long run. I can already feel it since I've expressed before my issues I had with this current system I have with the enemy states and I feel like learning something a little bit more robust and actually something Thing meant for this kind of system will help me a lot. Alexander had mentioned some coding improvements to me as well and I think that even though I'm a solo dev I think it's good to sort of get in this mindset of working on a team and having good code so that if someone were to look at it then they at least not be completely disappointed. It's also sort of brought around the mindset that in the future if I want to work on other games that are maybe similar I can reuse some past assets and if I keep everything organized and clean now it will be much easier for me in the future to reuse them. I got back to Butterfly Twist in my martial arts training this week, and I'll be honest, it kind of looks the same from what it did two weeks ago. I'm not getting as horizontal as I would like, but I feel like if I just keep up with the repetition, it will eventually click. And I also did this really cool tricycle kick combo. And on the topic of having good product structure and being team oriented, I've been thinking a lot about my future in game development as a career option. So I don't know how much I've mentioned this before and it's probably kind of obvious. Um, I would like to work in the games industry in the future. Um, being an indie would be nice, but being in the industry at all, even if it's AAA or, or some other company, would be insanely awesome. And I'm kind of thinking about how I can position myself for that. I think that by learning these more team oriented skills and product organization will help me a lot in the long run when working with a larger team at some company. And even just working by myself, it'll just structure my product a lot better and keep me better organized. And with that, I happen to be looking into some specific roles in the game industry, uh, such as technical artists. And I'm not completely sure my interests were exactly I would go in the industry, but I'm trying to research roles like that to see if I really would like them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love every single one of you guys. And if you need anything at all, feel free to shoot me a message on Discord. I'm absolutely willing to help. Also, I want to thank you guys for the support on my devloggers in real life video. I had so much fun making that and I'm so glad I got great support and great feedback. Um, I was I was really happy to see all those, those great comments on that video. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next devlog for some more fun. Thank you.